Good day and welcome to Revolt Update. My name is Silas Atiku and I'm very excited to bring you more updates about the Amazonian life of Lidu Cameroon armed conflict that have caused over 20,000 lives uh, since 2016. Uh, today, this is a very, very exciting edition. As you all must know by now, I am an international relations junkie, very excited and fascinated by how uh, the international community uh, come together to resolve world's uh, problems. And the Amazonian Life of Bidu Cameroon Armed Conflict is one which uh, requires the international community to bring meaningful solutions to resolve this conflict. And what has happened in the last few days that affects or that affects the Amazonian uh, like lead to Cameroon armed conflict and we are going to be discussing that in a few minutes. Welcome to the World Update. So what are we going to be talking about today? Uh, I want to talk about uh, the US Secretary of State uh, Anthony Blinken who recently was on uh, an overseas trip in the G7 uh, ministerial. The U.S. Secretary of State had a very charged program the last few few days in Europe, meeting with all foreign leaders. This is a continuous effort by the American uh, Department of State uh, to mobilize nations to resolving the biggest world's problems. And um, on this kind of stage, small issues are not discussed. Uh, when the Secretary of State goes out for a mission, usually... He handles most of the toughest challenges and those are the topics that are usually discussed. So while on this G7 ministerial, uh, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken met with uh, French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs Jean-Yves Le Drun. This is the part which concerns the Ambazonian Revolution that I'm going to be analyzing on this uh, edition of the World's Update. Uh, Secretary Blinken meeting with uh, the French Foreign uh, Minister for Foreign Minister and Minister for Europe uh, is of great significance to the level of uh, the Ambazonian diplomacy uh, for this crisis. It is something that Ambazonian uh, uh, foreign relations must take seriously and uh, take measures, proactive measures to meet uh, foreign to meet the international community at its point, not to leave, not to be laid back and then be caught up with uh, global uh, events. The f whether or not an Amazonian representative was there, the fact that world events are happening, uh, our people need to uh, be cognizant of what is happening and how they should react to it. So I hope that at the end of this, I uh, uh, could pick one thing or two from this and make a commitment or make adjustments accordingly to foster uh, our revolution and bring solutions to this four-year uh, crisis. We all know the involvement of uh, France in this conflict which we find ourselves, which has been claiming the lives of our people uh, for decades and uh, more so in the last four years, where we've lost more than 20,000 uh, uh, of our people. To better explain the importance and the significance of the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, to indicate that he had conversations with uh, Yves, uh, with Jean-Yves Lautrin, uh, French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs, about Cameroon is uh, very, very important. Uh, we all know that for the last uh, four years of the Trump's administration, we had uh, Ambassador Thibault Nagy, who constantly uh, talked about uh, the uh, crisis in Cameroon. He constantly talked about, he was at the forefront talking about it and giving opinions. Um, that was very good. But uh, the difference between what Thibault Nagy was saying there and the fact that uh, a U.S. Secretary of State has spoken uh, about the, 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 the situation in Cameroon 
uh, is different. Uh, we all know that U.S. Ambassador Tibo Nagy was the U.S. Undersecretary for African Affairs. So that was his portfolio. That was his jurisdiction. If he doesn't talk about that, then uh, if he doesn't talk about Africa, uh, then uh, he was out of his jurisdiction or out of his portfolio. And given that uh, the crisis in Cameroon was a major issue, it was obvious that at any time that uh, uh, Ambassador Thibault Nagy was called upon, he was supposed to be talking about the hot topics in Africa, which uh, the Amazonian Latin Republic to Cameroon conflict, uh, which uh, has been described as the most neglected armed conflict in uh, the world today. It's just obvious that he should talk about it. Now, a U.S. Secretary of State today uh, saying that uh, he talked to the uh, French Foreign Minister about Cameroon and the crisis there, it's, it, it means the situation has moved up the ladder. Mind you, uh, Ambassador Thibault Nagy speaking about uh, the crisis back then and it was very significant and important and he worked very hard and uh, said some really really interesting stuff and worked so hard towards uh, the, the, uh, getting solutions uh, but he had ab about three other persons above the chain to get to the secretary that is the position that Ambassador Thibault and Nagy had there are other deputies and assistants below the secretary before we get to uh, uh, Ambassador Tibo Nagy. And what uh, we as Amazonians should understand uh, this uh, uh, dynamics before we can see the significance of the Secretary of State today talking about uh, 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 the situation in Cameroon. Uh, all the time that Tibo Nagy spoke about Cameroon, no other uh, hierarchy above Tibo Nagy ever tweeted about uh, uh, the crisis. No other uh, uh, hierarchy, whether a deputy for secretary or other uh, hierarchy above Tibo Nagy, topless of uh, uh, Mike Pompeo, who was secretary, uh, secretary then, uh, never spoke about uh, the crisis as uh, a, a major world a discussion. Uh, we must understand that the U.S. government has so many priorities on the international stage right now. Uh, they have uh, an immigration crisis that is a hot topic here in the United States and the Secretary of State has the obligation to try to uh, meet with all of these, uh, the, 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 the countries concerned to fix that immigration system. The Iran nuclear deal that um, America, the, the Trump administration withdrew from. It's this is a democratic uh, government uh, administration that have taken over and they hold that Iran nuclear deal as a priority on the world stage to, to talk about. And uh, the, the, the issue of um, the, the climate change, climate change is a major topic for all world leaders and this coronavirus that is ravaging the world so uh, for world leaders to sit and then talk and then uh, for our case to be mentioned and discussed as one of the big agendas by uh, uh, world leaders, this, is, this simply means our uh, case have moved from that African discussion that Thibaut Nagy was talking about to a world platform. It is now an issue which is discussed in uh, uh, will be discussed in G7 summit, G20, all of this uh, 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 global uh, uh, world leader forums, our case will be discussed. That is just what this, this means. It means that it has not just moved up to the level of assistance, like uh, the, the, the deputy, the, the uh, uh, assistant secretary for political affairs in the state department and all of those other deputies. Uh, it is already at the desk of the uh, secretary and the secretary is discussing these issues with world leaders already to seek solution. This is very significant and Ambazonians must be very happy about this. And I'm going to talk about what Ambazonians should do 
uh, after uh, I point out the significance of this. So I want Ambazonia to understand that this is a major, major uh, 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 evolution of uh, our engagement or of our uh, case on the U.S. Uh, foreign policy. So our case is being discussed on the global stage as a major issue with the rest of major global issues like climate change, which climate change, Iran nuclear deal, these things are very present things to the United States, yet uh, they also consider the situation of Cameroon as very troubling. So um, we must continue to push efforts to see that uh, the, 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 the efforts that the U.S. State Department wants to engage with uh, other partners, France in, in particular, as he 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 he, he talked uh, with this foreign minister, uh, it's something that we must continue to engage all parties involved in the on the diplomatic arena, engage them and uh, 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 continue to uh, uh, internationalize our case, bringing out all the, the the facts and the concerns of our people, and and and, and insisting on. The, the 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 solution the type of solutions that will work for our people make the case for our people as will be discussed on the international stage so uh, this is a major event and Amazonians must not turn a blind eye to it it, it doesn't just suffice to put a couple of tweets out there come back and sit and say we have done our work no uh, uh, they, we have um, Amazonian leaders who have the responsibility to engage uh, uh, our uh, foreign partners and discuss issues and present uh, uh, our case uh, to our foreign partners of Ambazonia in a way that will convince them uh, to work to, to relate with us on this global issue now that our case uh, is on that platform. So if we understand the significance of uh, uh, this crisis being discussed on the global platform by world leaders, then uh, we will know that there are responsibilities on our part to continue to engage so that our issue remains uh, a mainstream and uh, uh, the main events. Um, before I even analyze more, I will also just say that at the State Department, uh, the Under Secretary for African Affairs nominee, uh, uh, Mali uh, Afi, who is uh, the former ambassador to uh, 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 the South Sudan, uh, is the person who is going to be the under, who, if confirmed, will be the Under Secretary for African Affairs, the position that uh, Ambassador Thibault Nagy. Uh, 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 held in the last administration. This is also something that Ambazonians must be very much aware ab about so we will know how to engage with, with partners. Uh, Ambassador Mali definitely understands this kind of situations. Being the, 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 the former ambassador to uh, South Sudan means that the conflicts like ours is something that she is very versed with and it is important that some of the things that we do that raise concerns and fears uh, to foreign leaders and foreign nations about uh, a, a chaotic uh, Ambazonia, we must desist from such practices. Some of those things that make uh, uh, the international community or the Republic of Cameroon use it as arguments uh, to question uh, an Ambazonian state, we must desist from those kind of practices so that our engagement on, on, on the world stage will be acceptable and presentable as mature enough uh, for statehood. So this is the time for Ambazonian leadership to consolidate, to consolidate responsibly. I'm not talking about irresponsible consolidation. We have all leaders who truly are recalcitrant 
those kind of recastion leaders must be exposed as not representative of the people and uh, all of the, the rest of the leaders who are representing the people and are mature and responsible must or, or project uh, an Ambazonian image that is mature. It is not necessarily a kumbaya that I'm preaching here, but I'm saying that it is for, for, for someone like uh, Ambassador Mali will be looking at those things that uh, uh, where South Sudan had difficulties. Ambassador Mali, if confirmed as the, the Under Secretary for African Affairs, will be looking at those key areas to see what Ambazonians are doing to prove otherwise. So because every uh, diplomat uh, have concerns about how South Sudan's independence was managed. Of course, such issues are usually very tricky, but uh, the, the experiences of the past also help guide uh, the, the, the decisions that these world leaders make today. So Ambazonian leaders must project uh, a mature and responsible uh, leadership that is ripe for statehood. That is what all the responsible Ambazonian leaders must be doing right now. Again, like I said, it's not a preaching of a kumbaya, but at every stage, on the world stage, uh, you must project your your thoughts, your decisions, your actions, and the way you comport yourself uh, as a representative of the people in a way that shows uh, that Ambazonia is mature enough uh, for statehood. So. Uh, I am again making a plea to our people and particularly the leadership uh, to stop some of the the kind of things that raises concerns over uh, a, an Ambazonian state. We must carry, particularly leaders and also our citizens must carry ourselves in a way, in a respectful way, in an intelligent manner with decorum that uh, Show, shows our maturity on the world stage. Uh, I hope that um, our leaders will also not just stay on an Ambazonian uh, uh, freedom message, but at the same time propose agendas that catches up with uh, uh, the, the, the international community. World leaders want to know uh, your views, you Ambazonian leaders. Uh, if you meet with Anthony Blinken today and we, we, they are hoping that's one of you who one day uh, will be leading an Ambazonian nation. They will want to work with you on climate change. They want to work on you on global political issues. Uh, what are your views? What are you representing? Uh, a real uh, mature leader must understand the uh, uh, international relations to project and calculate and present the interests of their people on the world stage. It is very important for all you leaders to get this message and act accordingly. I hope uh, this message will help our people in the way they comport themselves and our leaders on what they do going forward. Uh, you must prove uh, to the international community that Ambazonia is right for statehood. This is, there is no other time than right now that our case has moved from the African uh, uh, discussion rooms to a global stage. Uh, the G7 leadership uh, summit will be coming up in June. Who knows what more will be discussed on these issues. Fellow Ambazonians, uh, let's keep up the pressure and the fight. Let's do what is expected of us to free our people. It's not about just making noise. There is real work to be done. And our people are hungry for us to represent them. Do not just take the forefront to make noise. Your people need you. You need a freedom. Don't waste any single opportunity. The votes are there. If you like this video, uh, please uh, subscribe to uh, Revolts Update on YouTube. Follow Revolts Update on uh, Facebook. You can also uh, follow Revolts Update on Twitter at uh, Updates Revolts. So all of these addresses will be on your screen. Please just check out our videos 
and if you want any topic that you want uh, our comments about uh, please uh, inbox us on our email address or on Facebook and we will respond to your concerns. Thank you all for watching. My name is Silas Atiko. God bless and bless all.